Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. So today is how we attack the Chaos Dra Dragon. So let's get started. So I have some items with me. Let's have a look. I've actually got two of these dislocators. One's bound to where I'm standing at the moment and the other one's unbound. And I'm going to bind that and put this on a pedestal in the end when we get to uh, near to where the Chaos Guardian is. I've got a magnet flux of that because it'll pick up XP and a few other bits. Actually, it picks up XP. The item dislocated doesn't. I've got some flask of mending and I've got a bow, which we've also, I think I haven't changed this actually, but I have changed the um, armor. So let's have a look at that first of all. I have to come out of the one. So the armor, what I've done into the armor is I have changed it. So I've actually put in four more of these. And I've removed um, the, sp the speed upgrades because we don't need speed. I've just thought about it. We're not w running anywhere. If I am, I'm going, run, going to be running fast with the um, uh, Britannia Globe Trotter Sash. I'm also going to, uh, that's got enough, we've got some enough um, mana, so we should be okay with that. Um, I don't need to fly fast because I'm using the jetpack. So I don't need it at all. So what we've got a choice, actually. We've got a choice of having these two, four of these, or putting in one, an extra large one. So this one, for example, requires, it's 50, 50 seconds to recharge. We've got 16, 30 points. So I remove four of these. So I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to end up with. This one goes up to 81 seconds. That's 30 seconds more. But at the same time, we get uh, 1840 points. And I think I'm going to stick with that one to start with. This armor here doesn't really protect you against the Chaos Dragon at all, but it does protect a little bit against um, the Withers. So it's worth it's worth having, because we've got these Guardian Withers, and they're going to be attacking us pretty hard. <laughs> so I think that's all I need to do. So let's go off to the base. You'll see this is actually charging up now, because I've put in some more stuff in it. So what I did here on, on the on the mini on the map, actually on the mini map, I can do something else. So what I've done on the mini map because I'm actually using uh, Zero's mini map. For example, at the moment you can see it's got drowned in there. And what I want to do is actually want to get rid of the drowned messages because all of them are basically drowned, and I don't really care about the drowned so much anyway these days. So let's go to entity and enter categories and then living. So for example, I could create a new subcategory category so we'll call it some um, unnamed yeah hostile and confirm that spelled hostile spelled like more like that I think <laughs> and then you can with it and then we can change the settings of it so we can click that we can change some settings so for example I would like to the dot color I'm going to make it red dark red like this and confirm that and then when we can then what we can then do is we can go to here and we can put into this did I confirm it I did didn't I living unnamed hostile and I can actually put an include list in here so I've got an include list in here so we'll add to that for example endermen because there are going to be a lot of endermen in Minecraft uh, at the end when we're fighting this we don't really want to see them as that we're also going to put in drowned Minecraft. I'm just typing the first bit of the name and it does that like this. So let's go with that. I haven't got any other settings set on it, but we can then go into the category settings again, living and hostile, and we can go to the settings exclude list. And now we can add to this. I actually got zombified piglins and the other one. So we can add them to this one. Um, drowned. So we're not going to see drowned on both of them. Where's he gone to? There we go. Confirm that back okay and then i finished that so now if you look at the minimap they are no no longer um named but the zombies and the skeletons as you can see there are which is handy i like this i like this map a minimap much more than feed the beast but i've already complained about feed the beast one anyway so let's go off now and have a look at my map it's a bit, a bit scrolled in what i would like to do is i wonder if i can change i don't think i can okay so we go to the end and we fly off to the end and then we'll start from here. So for example, here I've got a, a marker. This is for the one I've gone to here. This is actually the end where we are at the moment. 
So then here I could put a map in here. So for example, on this map, I can go, this is the end portal. So for example, we could go east 10,000 blocks. And you can see on the top hand, top here, that's the numbers. So around about 8,900, there's 10,000. So that's where the, if I move my mouse slowly now, or probably better zoom in a bit, we don't get, we could move the mouse with smaller increments like this. 10,000 and then we need to go up till we get to zero. Then we gently move it around and here we can type, type B and then we can say Chaos Guardian. And we'll give him a different color. Blue's pretty, he's, he's a nasty one so we'll make him sure he's red like this. And then we can confirm that. Okay, then we can press escape. So that's the destination to the Chaos Guardian. I've actually got a second one. This is one over here. So this is the one I've just put in. So it's 10,000 blocks away. I'm going to go to this one because it's actually the westerly direction. Because I've already got that programmed into the into the, into the settings. So let's go and have a look at that. Alt, um, four. So I've got near Chaos, got near Chaos Guardian 2. So we click here and we teleport to this one. Uh, right click it to teleport. Actually, I want home is this one, in fact, and then right click this one. So I am I'm on the, I, I'm on basically zero. I'm, I'm landed and the Chaos Guardian will be 192. It's not formed yet. So let's go, let's go and get, I should tell me get back on while I'm doing this. Because we travel a lot faster. Happens to be, <laughs> I've raided that ship because it happens to be there. So. When I come down here like this, ooh, something else over there. Oh, that's interesting. The Chaos Guardian will come in. So I think I have to land for him to come in. Or maybe we wait to charge all of this thing loads in. It's another thing that we have to be concerned with. Am I not near enough yet? Let's move a bit. Further. There we go. So when you go to the middle like that, we'll go out of the way. Like this. So now the, t the towers have been formed. And the, the strategy is like this. I come behind one of these towers. So the Chaos Guardian is there and he will attack from that location. So you can see how I've got it. Uh, we need to go a bit nearer. Let's go a bit nearer because he's in at the moment he's in red mode. So as soon as he goes up a little bit too, uh, you see there's 14 crystals at the top and you need to watch the health. It's, no. Now he's started, so we can break this one. Let's do that and press. Oh, actually, they're picking up the bits, aren't they? So he's going to start throwing fireballs at me. It would be the the likeliest thing he's going to do, and he's always does it from the centre. He doesn't tend to do it from the sides. Oops, I just said that wrong, didn't I? Let's make sure that. Oh, I didn't put my bow in the off hand. Let's just do that. Sorry, I should have put this in my off hand over here. So let's just get the bow into it. Oh. Right. So he's what he's doing at the moment is shooting at me. And what I normally do in these cases is to get out of his way. And he's trying to push me down all the time, but I'm safe enough here because we're actually at the other side. So as soon as he changes red again, we can actually go and finish this off. Just like that. So we've got the first one. Uh oh, now he's doing his. He's doing it again. Now what he's doing is going to throw fireballs at me. So, oh no, he's going to do withers. Now withers. So we'll start attacking these withers like this. And as they get. This is very loud for me actually, so. But it won't be too loud for you. I just keep shooting them in my bow and watching my health. And as they get down like this, we can get rid of them. The only thing I really have to worry about... Now he's going to start shooting fireballs. And we have to get out of the way. He's going to be doing it in all directions. Now if I get... There's a good chance of getting hit while he's doing this.
So he's going to start fi shooting more fireballs. In fact, he's going through this step twice now. He's shooting in the inside part of the island. Now he's going to shoot all over the island. So we just have to be lucky and get to keep out of his way. Just, I'm just blinking my way around here. In fact, I'm lucky I can get out of these. No, I can't. I'm not worrying about the two other Wither Guardians which are here. Now, let's make sure we find his centre place over here because he's going to shoot from that location, like that. So this is part of the strategy. As you can see, my shield is going up now. The shield doesn't go up. In fact, I might as well go here and break this thing first of all. When you're getting attacked by the withers, if you notice that carefully, what happens with that, with the withers, every time you get hit, you, your shield resets and it doesn't start forming again. Right, he's shot it. So we can then... Like that. So what I'm actually doing here, so now he's doing the... Oh, oh. This one is doing the laser. Just get behind here. It doesn't matter what he does. With a bit of luck, he'll hit this. Right, so that's that attack finished, and I will survive that one as well. Whew, I'm doing all right in this one. It's a bit hard again, this one. So let's just get this one, break it up. Oops, I blinked. I didn't mean to. Right, okay, fine. And then we'll come down, keep him in the, keep him in the middle here. Like that. Okay, so he's now doing the withers again, I think. Because I'm getting dragged into this pool here. So what... <laughs> I can't do much of that. Yeah. Where are they? It'll be above my head. So, so all I'm doing is holding down my mouse button like this. Got three to go. So now he's going to be starting shooting his rocket, his fireballs at us. So he's shooting at the outside of the base now. Oops, I got hit that time. Oops, I got hit that time too. Now I'm into red, so I'm going home. You'll notice that the uh, <laughs> my life was very low, so I'll go home. Now what I do here is I come and come over here and turn off my jetpack because it's a bit irritating when you don't want you don't need it. Let's hover. Put that one on. Oops. So let's come over here. And then what I normally do here is get rid of the XP. Uh, or if I've got a lot of XP, let's do this. Let's do control R and open up another one of these things. 69, yeah, good. So I've actually got three of these open. So now all I need to do and get rid of the rest of the the XP like this is to wait until I've healed up again. So after this now what I'm I'm waiting for everything to restore back to normal health. I think this is actually a good balance of of materials. We did three of these. So I'm not going to do the whole fight, show you the whole fight, because it's quite it takes quite a lot of time and it's taken 30 minutes and we've got three of those. That little ping means that the um undying module has uh, refreshed. I'm just waiting for it to complete, 1840. It doesn't take too long. It's eight, well, it's a minute and a half, isn't it? Or a minute, 20 seconds for it from, from beginning to end. So then now what I do is I exit the game and save it. And then I cut, make a backup copy of that save. And then I start again from the same world. And if I, I keep repeating this until I die. When I die, restore the backup and play again. It's as simple as that. And eventually we will, um, defeat the um the dragon so here's the now i want to start with the clip and you can see in this clip what happened so i didn't mark oh i didn't set up my teleport did i um that was a bit of a mistake but i have actually set it up already so we can actually go straight back because i didn't put down this point on here 
I meant to do that. Well, actually, let's quickly do that before I forget. Um, so let's go back to the dragon. So I want to do that with Alt 4. I don't want to go to this one, so I right click this one and we go back over here. So I, the, as you may notice, here we are. No, it, I'm not sure how far exactly we need to get before it. Yeah, see now where he's, he's there and he's green. We did actually do four. So here is actually, as soon as he disappears from it, he's doing with the guardians again. Oh, that reminds me. If you don't complete that cycle, and that cycle consists of uh, with the guardians, fireballs, um, and when it goes back, oh, there's one over coming. Over here, cheeky blighter. I didn't expect him to do that. Oh, they're all coming over. All right. <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. Ah, she... So I'm actually two o two blocks, and the and the guardian symbols got uh, the chaos guardian symbols gone off the top. So we are. Oh, that right. I tell you what. I shall be back uh, as soon. You'll see in this clip now. I need to put down my marker, don't I? So here's a good place to put down the marker. Let's just go over to the middle of this island here, and let's put down the pedestal. So first of all, we put down the. This is the one that's unbound. So it shall bound it to this place here, like this. So shift right click it shoot the arrow at the same time so that's now bound here to the end so we can then go and put down the pedestal here which we've got beside it and on this pedestal we shall put the one that's bound to overworld like that shift right click it what did i just do i should move the i should move the bow out of my hand because with flame on it's a bit irritating i didn't put it on right okay so we shift right click that onto the pedestal oh no right click it sorry I did that completely wrong, didn't I? Let's, let's go back and do that again. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, let's go to Near Guardian 2. Oh, no, actually, I want that. This is the one I want to zoom back to. Okay. So, where's that marker? Here we are. The flames still haven't gone out. But that's not surprising because it hasn't. Uh, this is the one that's bound to Overworld. Okay, fine. So we should be able to right click this one onto here like that. Now it's on, good. You can see I didn't teleport anywhere. It's just on there. So now I can right click this one and go back to the uh, back to here. And then we can come along here and put into this one. Let's put this one in here like this. It's fairly obvious what I'm doing, isn't it? Put this one in here. So now we can teleport to that place again. And so we're already at a reasonable distance away from the um, Chaos Guardian. So that's it. All right, I'll see you. In a, uh, you'll have a look now and see. I'll do the end of the of the fight and get the and get the Chaos Shard. So I'll see you in a second when that's all finished. So, more care, more withers. Actually, they're not. Because I'm out of range of the Chaos Guardian, then I'm not being drawn in. When I get nearer, I will be pulled in. So let's go a bit nearer, like that. So, so what I'm going to do here, simply jump out of it. Oh, I've got to get these three, haven't I? So I'm in this gravity well now. I can't do much about it. And they need to come down a bit. And I have to finish this cycle. If 
I don't finish this cycle, what's going to happen is it just starts again. All right, that's that's done. So now he's going to start shooting fireballs. So get ready. So let's go towards the middle. So he's shooting around the outside. That's right. So now he's going to be shooting towards the mid middle, I think. Yeah, oops. So what I've got to do now... And when he finishes that, now he's just going to shoot randomly. So we we're just going to jump around, keep out of his way. If we're lucky, we'll avoid him. If we're not lucky, we get killed. <laughs> or nearly killed, anyway. So that's it. He's now, he's now done that cycle. But I wanted to show you another cycle he does. Let's come up here. Good bit uh, below, but I'm going to sink anyway. So he's not going to shoot fireballs in a second, I think. I'm just not sure when. He might be doing it from here. If he's doing it from here, let's move into this one. All right, good. Did I get hit by a fireball? I did, but it's not too bad. Uh oh, now it's laser time, so I need to get out of his way a bit. So I'm not very good, actually. If I move it up a bit. He might get he might get this crystal. If he gets this crystal, we can shoot the crystal. Yeah, we have. So we just wait for that bit to get finished, and then we can come along to this one here. And it's just this process. But I want to show you one of the other attacks he does that I haven't you haven't seen yet. And that's the one where he shoots fireballs at you. Oh, well, you, you've seen him shooting fireballs, but he's, he's, he's cyan in the middle. Right, what are we doing this time? Okay, so this might be the one I'm looking for. Yes, it is. So now he's shooting fireballs. You can see those on the minimap. And all I'm doing here is I've got a button pressed to the mouse to do the blink mode of the, of the um, advanced item dislocator. So as soon as he's coming, let's go out of the way of it so we can see him better. So as soon as he starts shooting, I just get out of his way. Simple as that. And you can see him doing his stuff like that. Okay, so now he's finished that, and off we go again. We've actually got full health, so we can might as well carry on. Uh, I can tell you this is exhausting. <laughs> right, let's go a bit nearer to this one. Keep up a bit. I'm not attacking the dragon at all, even though because he's going to he's only got his get his health re refreshed. We just have to wait for the red glow to disappear. I think it's the red glow we have to disappear. You can see on the map he's actually labelled on the mini map. It's just a game of patience, and I've actually got much better at it. I, I still have big problems with traf with traffic. Here he's going to start shooting now. Let's get down a bit. That's done. How's my health? Good. Okay, so now he's doing his withers probably. Oh yes, with wither time again. Right. I'm actually trying to get up with my jetpack, and as soon as I get up, I'm going to. Get... I attack them with the, I attack them with the sword. So what he does after this, after this one, if you just haven't, if you don't remember, if you watch the health bar, by the way, it doesn't, it doesn't get. Oh, I've done them all. Right, he's now going to start doing other things. Can I bling out of here? No, I can't. So he's, shot, he's shooting at the outside. Now let's go up to the middle. I 
and we go out to the outside here like then he's going now going to shoot in the, in the middle we ignore this guardian that with her over he doesn't he's not going to do anything to us really it's these fireballs we've got to watch out for now he's shooting randomly you see now the balls are coming random let's go up a bit if we can get up a bit with blimping my way up I might be all right yeah I've survived that one wow so right I'm taking a break I'll see you know what I'll see you in a minute when I finish Dead. I got him. Now there's going to be a lot of lightning. In fact, the point we need to be is exactly zero, zero, zero. We go down here, I should get a lot of XP. C, press C, pull it all in. So this will be the place where the thing is. Let's just mine down a bit. Crystal. Now before I break the crystal, I'm going to save the game. Well, here's the here's the crystal. I'm just going to save the game. So here we are. Might as well harvest this as well. Let's just put this to alt alt mode. I'm not sure if you're supposed to wait. This. Obsidian infused, um, draconian infused obsidian is quite handy to have. So let's just. Right. Now I should be able to break the crystal and get 10 crystals. Let's all up. Yeah, we got 10. Great. Ah, oh, we got an epic shaker, a cart, and um, 10 more shards, of course. And that's it. Fantastic. Uh, let's go back home. Let's just. Uh, I want to use the ender pearls that I've got on me as well. Let's just fuel up those. Gives me four, not very many. Okay, four. Let's go home. Boom. So there we have it. One extra heart, extra ten. Phew, this is really good actually. I'm happy. I was thinking about doing. I've got. I was thinking about doing um, extreme crafting, but it's crazy. <laughs> Who want to make this stuff? creative essence okay we should be able to do all of this and all of the seeds here i've got a lot of these already tinker's bronze seed i've probably got most of these flavorite seeds i've made some of the endarium seeds probably not too difficult blazes we've got already but there's a lot of them then we need to make insane essence and i think that's something in the right region of about 48 it's not too bad master infusion crystal no big deal and these things well <laughs> That can be a nuisance to make. Look at this. You get one of everything in here, and you've got to start with an, a quantum entangled singularity from applied energetics, and I haven't even started applied energetics. So I don't think that's worth it. So maybe just fighting the um, fighting the uh, uh, guardian might be the best solution. It's probably the quickest. It took about four hours to do that this time. So that's it for this episode. I didn't actually die. Amazing. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.